Good morning. Welcome to week three in our Summer of Love uh, daily encouragement here this morning. This morning is a short passage from Matthew 5, 43 through 46. And uh, when I was thinking about this uh, passage this morning, I almost started this video off of, please do not attempt this at home, only allow um, experts uh, to do this because this is dangerous. Uh, and on some level, uh, it, that fits because uh, for me at least, I realized that this scripture, uh, to actually succeed at it, requires a lot of understanding. And the biggest thing that we must understand is how much God loves us. Uh, Paul told the church in Rome that while we were God's enemies, Christ died for us. And in this scripture, Jesus is admonishing us to love our enemies, to do good to those who persecute us. And that can be very difficult. But it becomes possible when we realize the depth of God's love for us, whether we love him back or not. And when we can really grasp that and, and live in that place, live loved in that place, we can begin to love difficult people, not white knuckling it, not like gritting our teeth, but actually being able to allow the love of God that's flowing into us naturally flow out of us. But this takes, uh, uh, this takes great uh, patience and, and uh, uh, for me, a lot of time in the presence of uh, my Heavenly Father, recognizing that, um, that He loves me without condition, that He is unlike any earthly father there ever was and that his love is otherworldly and altogether for me. And as I have been able to grasp that, I can begin to love difficult people, at least on my good days. So I want to encourage you, don't be discouraged by this scripture. Just understand that this, this, is a, this is an ideal that Jesus sets. This is what he does a lot in his teaching. He sets the bar so high that we couldn't possibly do it without him. And so we can never get to the place to where we don't need to be dependent on Jesus uh, for our life. And he wants that. He wants us to be in him, in the Messiah, in Christ, the writers of the New Testament say over and over again. That is where life and life to the full exists. And the undying, eternal life of God begins with a life right now here in Christ. So go love those enemies. God bless you guys. Have a great Monday.